Welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And on today's episode, we are going to be replacing the fuel pump in the 2001 Mirage. And also, in the same token, we're going to be removing the remainder of the stock exhaust. So, with that being said, let's dive in. All right. Front down, trunk up, you know what time it is. It's gas tank time. Okay, so we are going to take down the gas tank and we're going to modify the fuel system completely, a uh, complete 180. Uh, so basically we're going to go from the factory line to 8 a.m. We already have one of the ends done and it's going to come directly from the fuel pump to the fuel rail or at least on the way to. So we have that first piece done. Now we have to do the actual modification to the fuel hat. So let's get to it. First things first is we have to take down the gas tank. So first thing we have to do is we have a jack stand underneath in the middle. Um, and then also we're gonna have to disconnect the fill hose at the tank so we'll be able to move it down with no discrepancy so we got our light right there and we're gonna slide under and get to it okay so this is my first time being under here and I noticed a couple of things one um, I got all of the the goodies up under here rear disc conversion, so on and so forth. But this aluminum is really getting nasty. That's, that's not good. Especially if you spend good money on this stuff and it kinda ends up turning out like this, that's kinda rough. Still solid, but uh, I wonder how long that's gonna be. Then I'm noticing the bushing for the suspension here is starting to slowly go away, as you can see there. So I'm gonna have to order probably some lower cups at some point. But on the positive note, the last couple of Mirages I've had had a serious rust problem right through there. So, so far it looks great, but we won't know until we get the tank down. So I don't want to celebrate too early, but this is the gas tank and that's what we're going to be taking down. But before we do, we have to get these lines here disconnected from the tank uh, and then we should be good to go. So let's get to it. First things first. Gonna have to take this guy off 10 millimeter. Okay, so we took this clamp off, which is the big hose here. And we put this uh, on here with the clamp just to make sure nothing falls in the hose. Then we take loose the feed and return and now we have access to the fuel pump. But, and as you can see, I already replaced the sending unit that was done a good amount of episodes back, but it's fuel pump time. So we're gonna take it from here, but before we take it all the way off, we're gonna clean the area, um, most likely with compressed air. That'll be good to kind of get everything out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and take the I believe these are 10 millimeter. Actually, no, I think these are eight millimeter. Take these out, disconnect these two plugs, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so fuel assembly is out. You wanna take loose all seven, so it's six for there. Then you have one lonely guy here 
and make sure you don't lose your bolts and put something over top of that so nothing falls in and this is our assembly there we go a little light on the subject but yep this is our assembly all original never removed or tampered with until right now okay so let's get this on the table and uh get to work all righty so here is the stock fuel system all right so first things first we got to take loose this clamp this clamp actually we could probably leave this one pull this one off um, we have to unplug the uh, wires that go to this pump. We're going to take loose this Phillips to drop the pump out. And yeah, we're just going to take that part apart. Also, we're going to take loose this uh, pressure sensor. It's a gas tank pressure sensor. And those are eight millimeters also. And then we can begin preparing the new fuel pump. So let me get this ripped apart and take it from there. Okay, so um, we unplugged the plug. And it's very important to note what color is which for power and ground. And if you look on here, there's a negative sign there. And... A positive sign there so our blue wire is positive and our black is ground good so now that we know that we can continue on with the new pump so um, yeah let's grab the new pump and see what we got ah boxes are good let's see if we can open it Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Ooh. This is a um, Hellcat pump. That's exactly what we need. So perfect, perfect, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the original set up with a beautiful Hellcat setup which let me make sure everything is here okay looks like we're good and this is what we're gonna run we got the sock and everything else right here for that, um, yeah, it's gonna look great. Okay, so only thing we do have to do is modify the top hat to fit this piece in there and we should be good to go. So, as you can see, I got this adapter for the Mirage. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. There's an O-ring to make sure you're sealed from leaking uh, any gas that splashes around this fitting. And yep, and then we have this top fitting here, which is going to, there we go, which is gonna smash against that fitting. So it's gonna come out perfectly and we can take it from there. So next thing we have to do is start working on that boy right there. So, <clears throat> before we get started, I'm going to explain what we got here. So, Hellcat pump, this adapter is specifically for this pump, um, which is a 6AN uh, fitting, and then this bumps it up to an 8AN fitting. There's a rubber seal in there, just in case, um, and uh, 8AN is the size we're going to be using for the feed. Now on the return side, this is what's called a bulkhead fitting. Um, and this is 6AN. This is bigger than the factory return, which is this guy here at the bottom, as you can see. And um, basically, uh, it's to make sure that we're able to completely control 
the uh, fuel pressure without it getting uh, back pressure from the return line. Basically what that means is, is that if the line is too small and can't flow enough fluid, it's going to build up at the fuel rail and give us a minimum fuel pressure that's higher than we want. Put it like that. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna start uh, modifying this thing up and take it from there. Okay, now pertaining to this, first things first, we are going to flip this over. We're gonna cut this one and this one. Okay, that's the first order of business and then we'll take it from there. So grab your angle grinder, put in that work. Okay, so we were able to cut this return line. This one, I just manned it and bent it until it broke. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna take a drill and we're gonna drill away this, uh, the rest of that tube. This tube, same deal. We're gonna go from the opposite side and port that, that tube out to where it's non-existent and take it from there. And just like that, we got exactly what we want. All right, so <clears throat> now we can actually drill it out to the proper size that we need for the items that we're gonna put in. So we'll take a measurement with a caliper and drill the exact precise hole. That way we don't have to keep going from bit to bit. So let's do that. All right, our first measurement is in millimeters, 14.08. All right, let's see if we can find a bit for that. Okay, 916 seems to be the perfect fit. So we're gonna do the first uh, cut and measure this return and continue. Okay, and the return is the exact same size as the feed on the thread. So we're gonna drill that too. Okay, now the modifications for the top hat is complete. We can start uh, putting stuff together here. First things first, uh, we're gonna put the pump in and then after that we'll do the wiring which you see we have the uh, plug here and then we're going to connect these wires directly to these wires um now there's a multitude of ways you could do that uh heat shrink solder so on and so forth but um i think what we're gonna do is we're going to um probably use butt connectors most likely and we should be good to go from there so let's start mounting this up and seeing exactly what we need to do. Okay, so I've decided to go with a plug and play type of uh, deal there. Um, so we got two male connectors going to the corresponding wires plus the original plug. Um, this is the bottom piece. Just a little extra security here. Got this. Everything looks like it's gonna work perfectly. And then for the top, we have the 8 a.m. feed and then the 6 a.m. return. As you can see, that's how this goes together. And of course you can add a hose here to go lower and kind of drop the gas right where, where uh, the bag is. But um, I'm gonna skip that part for now and I have to get a 90 degree 6AN on top of here, and then I already have the 90 degree 8AN for on top of there. Uh, I'm gonna put that on and then put in this uh, sensor here, and then that should be it. So yeah. And then we can start reassembling and putting this back exactly where it was. And then we can run the new fuel feed and then I'll get a uh, hose for the return and we'll be good to go. Okay, so uh, next part is we need sharp 90 degree angle 
Uh, this one's a 6 a.m. And I need to get the 8 a.m. Which I'm going to see if they have it on Amazon. Actually, I might get them both because this one is steel and this is aluminum. Don't know how well that's going to work together. So, um, just for Rusty's sake, let's use aluminum. And, yeah, we should be good to go. So, yeah, got to do that. And then... We have to remove the original exhaust. We're not gonna be using that. So we're gonna get on that in just a second. Okay, so if we look here, the fuel system is there waiting for those sharp 90 degree fittings and then we're going to do a uh, barb fitting on the end of this one and AN fitting on the feed. The feed is going to um, mount to pretty much where the stock stuff is and then we're going to use the old feed line as a return and we're going to go with a uh, a hose clamp from there to there once we get the tank up so I'm gonna actually connect the hose that's for fuel uh, to be a foot long and then it'll be trimmed accordingly from there so yeah so that's the plan with that uh, waiting for that stuff to come in so until then we're gonna cover this up Make sure nothing falls in there. And we're gonna take down this stock exhaust. So if you look here, there's a 12 millimeter there. All right. Another 12 millimeter on the side of that one. Um, let's see. Another 12 there. Basically, we're going to get all of the 12s out, and then I'm going to take loose those bolts right here at this flange. Hopefully, they come out with, uh, with no problem. We'll see. Even if they break, as long as it comes out, that's fine. And yep, all of this exhaust is coming out. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so... This is all of the bolts. We have five bolts, five spots. One, two, three, four, and five on the opposite side of that resonator. And that's it as long as your your uh, exhaust is disconnected from your cat. Okay, last but not least, um, we're gonna bust these bolts loose here and take the muffler from over the lower control arm because that's what it's sitting on currently. All right, so now that the exhaust is done, and it's gone for now, we can put back up the fuel system. So we have the 8 a.m. fitting, that's for the feed. Then we have the 6 a.m. return to, uh, I think the 3 8 uh, NPT and the hose to go with it, clamp it up. We're gonna use the old feed line as the return and we're going to leave the re old return line alone as it sits and the new feed line is going to have its own uh, 8 a.m. hose so that's going to be pretty simple just to run down this uh, original area with the new hose and then boom we should be good to go so we're going to pop on the fittings on the here and we should be able to put back up the tank. Okay, so um, basically this is what it looks like. 
uh, in its complete form. We have all the lines going there. And even with the hard 90s, you still got to give it some love up here. A couple taps to make room to make sure you have enough area to kind of cover the fittings up under here. So basically used a hammer, bend it ever so slightly. I don't want to cut it, but just, you know, bend it a little bit and should be able to get it up no problem. So yeah, so now we're gonna lift up the tank, get it into position and we should be good to go. And just like the Starion, we took the 10, or excuse me, the 8AN tube next to the original fuel line, nice and neat. And boom, we take it to the front right there. And the fuel system is done for now. There. Nice and neat. And with that being said, we're going to call it an episode right there. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you're new and like what you see, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and bell icon for updated notifications. And remember, guys, knowledge is power, and I'll see you next time.